what's the aim of the project? Um, our aim was to look at maths of the Planet Earth 2013 campaign in detail, in particular looking at how it has generated a new insight into appreciating mathematics in today's society. How did you start? So firstly, we had to establish what the campaign was, what its motivations were, and who was involved. Maths of the Planet Earth was amalgamated by various mathematical societies in order to increase participation, specifically in mathematics, which identifies and solves the problems related to the Planet Earth. In fact, there are other campaigns which run alongside this initiative, such as Maths and Awareness Month, which the theme for 2013 is Maths and Sustainability. Initiatives focusing on Maths of the Planet Earth, because due to an increase in population in the 21st century, this, um, the balance of the Earth has changed, which has caused various problems, for example, an increase in natural disasters, and it's resulted in the need for sustainable solutions. Okay. Then what was your next construction? We identified the position of maths of the planet Earth in the history of mathematics. Due to this new position and the focus of maths in the 21st century, it has encouraged higher education departments to establish a new method of teaching. In particular, we looked at a new course which is expected to run for the first time in 2014, called the Maths and, maths and the Environment, it's held at the Cornwall campus at, of the University of Exeter. And finally, in order for us to understand um, how mathematics can be contributed to the environment, we considered some applications of mathematics. We found that maths was present in biological and ecological fields, but they're not the only two. The NPE 2013 website has various other examples of this. So, where did this lead to? It quite nicely led us onto our three individual themes. Chris looked at how education is responding to more practical applications of maths. I focus on how maths of the planet Earth had an impact on companies. And I consider how maths is perceived in society and how it has an implication on the participation of maths. 